dumating si Secretary Galvez, mga around 2 o'clock. Then we, we talk outside of the room. Well, hmm. ang sinabi niya sa akin, uh, Secretary Roque and Secretary Duque, eh, you know, pressured him na pag-resignin ako. On another topic, sir, si Dr. Tony Liatson in an interview, uh, he mentioned you po. Sabi daw po niya may kinalaman daw po kayo sa pagpapaalis sa kanya sa pwesto. He mentioned you and Secretary Duque and he said you were displeased with his public comments and uh, also when he casted doubt on DOH uh, response uh, sa COVID-19 pandemic and this allegedly led to Secretary Galvez asking him to leave the task force. Totoo po ba ito, Secretary? He's giving me too much credit. Pambansang laway lang po ako. Wala po talaga akong kapangyarihan na mag-compel sa kahit sino sa kanila na mag-resign. Pagamat, totoo po yan na dahil ako po ang uh, tagapagsalitari ng IATF, ako po ang namumuno ng uh, strategic communication group ng IATF. At nung siya po ay nagsalita, casting doubts dun sa figures ng DOH, no? e eh, talagang lahat po ng miyembro ng uh, strategic trust force ay talagang nagtatanong, bakit tayo tinitira ng ating sariling kakampi? So pinarating ko po ito kay Secretary Duque. No? At uh, nung huling pagpupulong po kay uh, Presidente, um, nanggaling naman po kay Presidente na bakit nagsasalita ng ganito itong si uh, Liachon. So let me um, correct you, um, Dr. Liachon. Hindi po ako, hindi si uh, Secretary Duque. Mismong Presidente po noted that you should not be doing what you were doing. Kasi But alam niyo naman po, pagdating sa datos ng uh, Department of Health, wala po talagang tinatago. In fact, dito sa briefing neto, nagkaroon po tayo ng napakalaki at importanteng contribution. Dahil yung sumipa nga po yung figura ng mga daily COVID cases, ang sabi natin, dapat siguro baguhin ang presentation, ang ating suhistyon, gamitin yung date ng swabbing, hindi yung date ng release ng results. Bagamat hindi po ito ang... Uh, um, ang inadapt ng DOH, ang inadapt po nila ay date kung kailan nagkaroon ng uh, sintomas ang nagkakasakit, inaadapt na po yan ng DOH. Patunay po na wala po talagang tinatago bagamat lahat po ng miyembro ng IATF are striving to improve the reporting of COVID cases. Opa, just to clarify on what you said, Secretary, the President noted, um, ibig niyo po masabihin, is the President the one who gave the order to have him removed from the National Task Force? And uh, th does this mean that uh, uh, lahat na po ng kanyang allegations sa umano yung mab mabagal na um, response na DOH, ito hindi na natin iimbestigahan? Or will the President will still look into, the, into these claims of uh, Dr. Lachon? The President did not say he should resign kasi lahat naman kami, hindi kami talaga sigurado kung anong papel niya. Ako, kaya ako po kinausap si Secretary Duque when he questioned the OH figures was I thought he was an advisor to Secretary Duque. Hindi pala. He told me he was an advisor to Secretary uh, Galvez. But when the President spoke, I hope Secretary Galvez does not mind. No? Ang sabi talaga ni Secretary Galvez, eh nanlambot siya uh, with what the President declared as far as uh, the statements of uh, Dr. Liachon are concerned. Siguro po, hindi po ako, hindi si Secretary Duque ang nag-ujok um, kay Secretary Galvez to let go of him. It was a declaration of the President himself. Hi, Secretary. Good afternoon po. Sir, follow-up lang po ako dun sa question ni Joyce about Dr. Tony Lechon. Um, I think he answered also in an interview saying na he only did, uh, he only spoke of the truth, he only um, gave honest comments as a consultant to um, the NPF. And uh, ginawa niyo po yun para po ma-call yung attention ng Department of Health. All these, and he's saying that these are constructive criticisms. What can um, the government say about it, sir? Na, na, um, yung criticisms naman ngayon na parang hindi welcome yung mga ganitong um, puna po? Eh kaya nga po kami nagalit eh kasi pinalalabas niya, nagsisinungaling ang lahat, except siya. Eh hindi naman po pwede na siya nagsasabi ng katotohanan. Ang datos po linalabas natin. There is a need to improve yung reporting ng datos to make it accurate. Pero wala po nagsisinungaling. At kaya nga po, ang dami talaga nagalit doon na lang sa strategic communication kasi kami po, eh gabi-gabi nagpupulong po kami kung paano namin ipararating ang totoong nangyayari sa ating mga kababayan para naman kahit pa paano, uh, pag alam nila ang datos, hindi po sila magpapanik. No? And here comes someone saying siya lang nagsasabi ng katotohanan. We do not have the monopoly of the truth and we have never lied. Saan po kami nagsinungaling? Dapat ilathala niya yan. No? Uh, we are perfecting the recording of cases. We have not 
perfected it yet, but we are striving po to improve and we will always give the truth and the true numbers as far as we know to the people. Sir, okay, with regard to Dr. Yachon's criticism, and you are a spokesperson of the IATF, what does, hey, sir, kati lang, sa duke pala, what, how does this affect the credibility of the DOH, DOH officials, and therefore the IATF in leading the fight against COVID? Wala naman the po. investigation of the Ombudsman? Wala naman po, until presumed guilty, they are presumed innocent po. Until found guilty, they are presumed innocent. So tingin ko wala naman po. Mm -hmm. At kung mapapansin nyo naman po, ang IATF talaga ay lahat po ng uh, uh, um, departamento. It's a whole government approach. It's not just the DOH. Although the DOH, of course, has a position of leadership. So yun pong kay Dr. Liachon, just one of the points that he raised yesterday is that the government or uh, seem to be making decisions based on um, outdated or your late data. So, for example, uh, one question, how much backlog do we have? And is that true that we are relying on late data to decide on quarantine measures? Alam niyo po, hindi po natin tinatago kapag late ang data. Kaya nga po sa reporting natin, merong fresh at merong uh, uh, late, no? So alam po natin at sinasa publiko po natin yan, hindi po natin tinatago yan. Now, ang problema po talaga, uh, repository of information ng DOH. No? Ang mga nagsasubmit po dyan, lahat ng hospital, lahat ng local government units, no? uh, at lahat ng mga regional offices, at lab laboratorio. So, siyempre po, nakakaroon ng late kung ang laboratory ay eh, late mag-submit ng kanilang uh, forms. No? It's a simple form that they fill up kapag merong positive. No? So, hindi naman po lahat na ipapadala kaagad. So, meron na pong solusyon dyan, no? yung uh, COVID kaya app no, na um, dili-develop na po. We're hoping to automate it para mawala na po yung lag pagdating sa reporting. At na-automate so, na rin po yung verification. ha Ino-automate ino na rin po natin yung verification para masigurado na walang uh, dalawang ta isang tao na doubling na record sa database. Yes, sir. So it's not true that we relied on in the past, no? old data to decide on quarantine measures? Not at all po, no? Kasi nakikita naman natin ang mga figures sa uh, we are on GCQ in Metro Manila. The majority of the Philippines is MGCQ. So, kung mali po yung mga mm. assumptions natin, we would be as bad as other countries, but we're not. Okay. In fact, doon sure. nga po sa sinabi ni, ni, uh, ni Asek Lambino, no? we're number six mm -hmm. as far as resiliency. No? Mm -mm. So, just one last. 83% sir ng survey said that their lives uh, has gotten worse. Just a comment on it, sir. Well, it should be 100% no? because there is COVID and the economy was closed. Hindi po kami nasusurpreso dyan. It should in fact be 100% dahil minimum two months tayo complete lockdown. Lahat po talaga tayo nahihirapan at kinikilala po yan ang ating presidente. Alright sir, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yusak Rocky.